on some speed work, moving our feet quickly. This week we're going to do a little bit of focus on balance. So we're going to be doing seven exercises today. Okay, we're going to do them twice through for a minute each, and we're really just going to work on stabilizing through those feet. We're going to try and still get a little bit of a sweat up and work our bodies hard, but the focus today is going to be balance. When you're doing this workout, if you need a chair beside you or a wall beside you, that's completely fine. Please remember safety first. If you need a little bit of assistance with these, with the environment around you, that's completely fine. Just make sure it's not a wobbly chair or stool. Make sure it's something nice and stable and sturdy. All right? The normal rules apply if you get any strange symptoms that you know don't seem normal, like very rapid heart rate or uh, chest pain, anything like that that seems worrisome, please stop and talk to your doctor. All right? So we're going to get started with our warm-up today. Same exercises as usual. We're going to start with our forward arm swings. You should be getting to know these pretty well by now and being able to use them a little bit on your own. Off we go. Little knee bends, big forward arm swings. Okay. That's it. Remember, we're trying to get full range here. So with Parkinson's, what feels like full range might not quite be full range. I want you to exaggerate it. Get as much movement in those shoulders as you can. That's it. Big, big, big circles. Okay, we're going to do 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're going to go backwards. Big backwards arm circles. Up and open. Stretch out that chest in the middle. Whatever speed works for you is just fine, but full, full, full range. Okay? Try opening up those fingers nice and wide and see if that helps you get full range as well. Let's do 10 more of those. Good work. Be 
few more. We're going to get right into our workout. All right. Okay, so for the first part of our workout, we're going to work on single leg stands. A few quick notes about single leg stands. When you stand on one leg, rather than thinking about lifting the opposite leg, I want you to think about driving down through the heel of the standing leg, tucking your hip in, and having your head and your chest up and tall towards the ceiling. I always tell people it's like those torture devices, right? You want to imagine somebody's pulling you up from your head and pulling you down from your foot. So you're really stretching down through your foot, up through your head, and your other leg should start to float off the floor. It should be easier to lift your other leg. So just remember that when we go forward today, okay? Exercise number one, you're gonna go five high knees. We've done this before. One, two, three, four, five, stepping or running. You're gonna hold with one leg up on number five for five seconds. It's gonna look like this. One, two, three, four, five. Pause and balance. You can have your arms out in wherever need you need to help you balance. If you can't run, you just walk, okay? Here we go, one minute on the clock. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five. Pause and balance, tall on that leg. Five, four, three, two, one. Again, one, two, three, four, five. Pause and balance. Five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five. Pause, five, four, three, two, one. Keep going. You should land on the opposite leg every time and you should feel really stacked on top of that leg. Try shifting your weight a little bit back towards the heel so your toes and your heels are both connected. Keep going, nice high knees. Pause, drive that foot into the floor. Stand up nice and tall. Don't worry if you wobble. That's what practicing balance is all about. If it's too easy, then we're probably not changing anything. Okay? If you know you're doing this and it happens to be too easy, close your eyes. Easy way to make it harder. Okay? Keep it up. Arms out if you need them. Last one. Five, four, three, two, one. Very well done, okay? Now we're gonna work on a different balance in a different plane now. So we're gonna go sideways. So what you're gonna do is get your tall balance on one leg. You're gonna reach your arm up to the sky and you're gonna imagine you're squished in between two panes of glass. So I have a pane of glass in front of me and one behind me. I can't move anywhere except sideways. So this is what you're gonna do. Five on one side, five on the other. All together, ready, set, go. Reach up, knee to elbow. Notice that all my weight stays on my standing leg, so I'm not doing this, right? All my weight stays on my standing leg. Shift yourself over, tall, touch, and reach down. If you wanna make this harder, always an option, you just don't touch your foot down. So if you wanna make it harder, you don't touch your foot down, you just keep it up, raised. If you need a little more support, you put it down, but all your weight stays in your standing leg. Five one side, five the other. Shift over first, up tall, reach with the arm, knee and touch. My knee isn't coming in front, right? It's coming to the side to keep me balanced. And those two panes of glass are keeping me squished front to back. That's it. Very nice. Keep it up. Keep it up. We got just enough time to finish five on this side. Nice and tall. Good work. Okay, remember we're running through all these twice so you get another chance at all of these. Next up, we're going to boost that heart rate and again, work on our balance in a functional way. So, we're going to cross our feet, okay? Crossing and uncrossing is a very good way to practice stability and balance in a position that people often get into that can cause falls. When you get crossed with your feet, which happens inevitably at some point, you need to be able to uncross, so that's what we're going to practice. Cross, uncross, okay? The further you cross, the harder it is. If that's too hard, cross just a little bit to start. If you can't jump, don't worry, step and cross, step and uncross, right? Always options and adaptations. Ready, set, go. Cross, uncross, okay? Again, stepping if you need to, the further you cross over, the harder that's gonna be, okay? The less you cross over, the easier it's gonna be. So pick a level that works for you if you need to step. You step, keep with whatever level goes best with your balance today. Changes every day sometimes, right? Every day won't be the same, stepping or jumping. Everyone works best for you today, but keep it up. We got a full minute of this. This is our cardio booster today, so we gotta get some good heart rate boosting work in before we slow.
slow it down for the next exercise. That's it. Next time somebody nudges you and your feet get crossed, you're going to be able to uncross them really quickly and safely and make sure you don't end up on the ground. All right. That's it, guys. Heart rate should be getting up there now. Keep it up. And rest. Well done. Okay. Next up, we're going to go on to an exercise that I call the drinking bird. This is a balance exercise. If you've ever seen those birds that tip and drink the water incessantly, they never stop, that's what we're going to do today. You're going to get all your weight onto one foot. Chest is going to stay tall. The goal here is to tip down and come back up without bending your spine. I don't want you to flex your spine. Okay? Chest stays up. I'm moving through my hip. My arms can go up to balance me and come back down. Now, if you're going to wobble, that's okay. You don't have to go down to here. The likelihood is if you do that, you're going to bend your spine. See how my spine rounded? Just go a little bit forward and back until your back foot comes off the ground. The other thing I want to see is your heel in line with your bum. Look in the mirror, okay? If you're doing this and your heel isn't coming up with you, then we're not getting the hip extension. Stick your leg back, then bend down, come up. Ready? Set. Go five, one leg, five the other. Arms come out. Nice tip down and up. Again, you don't have to go far. As long as it's challenging you, then it's working to change you. Two. That's it. Take your time. If you find this is just too hard, put your foot back. Keep it down for balance as you bend and come up. Even if you're doing it this way, you're still keeping your trunk nice and tall and using your hip to hinge. Okay? And then we're going to go to the other side. Five one side, five the other. You're likely going to find that one leg works much easier than the other with balance. That's completely normal. Okay? Don't worry about it. That's why we're working them separately. When we work them separately, one leg can't compensate for the other. Which is exactly what we want. We want to make sure they're each doing their own work. 50-50. Good. Five one leg, five the other at your own pace. Keep it up. Activate that back leg. Get it behind you. Then reach. Finish whatever side you're on. And we go on to the next one. Okay? So next up, we're going to spell our name. This is a tricky one. You're going to get all your weight onto one side. Stack your body. Lift your other leg up. And you're going to spell your name. Off we go. Big letters. I'm spelling N. Big A. Big O. Big M. And big I. Big capital letters. I'm going to switch legs, and I'm going to spell my last name for me, Big C. Okay, I'm going to stop talking so you can focus on spelling your name. I'm not going to spell my name for you. Big letters. Get your balance. Wobble if you need to. That's okay. Hold on to a wall if you need a little bit of balance. But make sure it's still challenging. If you're holding a wall, one finger on the wall. Okay? Good. Once you've done that, you're going to go back to the first leg and reverse it. Now I'm going to spell my last name again. And then when I go back, I'm going to spell my first name. If you have a really short first name and last name, then you get lucky and you get to switch really often. <laughs> okay? Keep going, guys. First name, last name, last name, first name. Okay? Finish off whichever one you're on. And then we go to the next one. We're going to come down to split kneeling for this. So I want you to take a second, get down onto the ground, with one foot forward and one foot back. Okay, the front foot can be just a little bit wider than the hip if you need. So take a second and just get to that position, and then we're gonna go from here. All right? So, from this position, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up and balance. This is a very good exercise to practice getting up from the floor in a balanced manner. What we're gonna do is tuck our back toes under and push our hips forward. Bring our shoulders back over top of our hips so we're aligned. Bring our arms forward into a 45 degree angle. We're going to push up through that back leg and come down. Okay, when you find them, you're going to feel your leg work. Here we go. One minute on the clock, five each side. One, two, three, four, five. I want that back leg nice and straight when you come up. Get your balance, okay? Switch legs. I'm going to give you an adaptation if you can't come all the way down. So if you can come down, keep going. Can't, you're going to start in standing, bend, and come up. Okay, so this is your adaptation if you can't get that knee all the way down to the ground. If it just feels too hard or the knee is sore, you're going to do it this way. Okay, 
Back leg is straight. Back leg bends. Okay? Five one leg, five the other. If you can get all the way down, come all the way down. Chest is tall, body is stacked. Try not to let yourself go forward. Okay? Five one, five the other. And you got it, guys. Keep it up. That's it. If you want to make it harder, bring your foot narrower into the center. If you want to make it easier, step that foot out wider. You've got lots of ways to adapt here. Okay, finish up whichever side you're on. Again, remember, we're doing this twice through. You can do it five times through if you want, okay? On to the next one. So, this is our last one today, okay? Then we're going to repeat through all of them. We're going to get into kneeling. We're going to bring our hands forward, both knees down in the sun. You're going to start in all fours, okay? One big step forward with each hand. Shift your weight forward onto your hands so that your shoulders are stacked with your wrists. And your bum is flat. I don't want to see this, and I don't want to see this. Okay? Nice and flat. We're going to lift our opposite arm and leg, pull our belly button into our spine, try and balance, and then do the other side. Ready? Set. Go. Here we go. You're going to wobble when you do this. That's okay. Pull your belly button into your spine. This is a great core stability exercise for those of you who might have back pain. Probably a lot of you because we know that happens very frequently with Parkinson's. We need to strengthen the core and correct the posture. So pull the belly button into the spine. Don't let your back sag. Okay, lift and lift. If this is just too hard or you're getting pain in your back, walk your knees in a little and do it again. Okay, you never want to work through sharp pain. That's it. Opposite, opposite. Pause and hold for a second. Switch, pause and hold for a second. Imagine you've got a tray of martinis angled but flat along that spine, okay? Don't let them tip side to side. Keep everything neutral. That's it, guys. This is a tough one, but it's the last one. Then we go right back to the beginning. Okay, keep it up. Very nice again. Okay, quick drink of water. Have a break for a second. We're going to go back to the very beginning. And we're going to repeat this right through a second time. Okay guys, so here we go again. We're going to go through round two right from the beginning with a little bit less explanation, starting with our five high knees onto balance on one side. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five. Tall from that standing leg. Four, three, two, one. That's it. Get your balance nice and sturdy. Push that hip forward. Trunk is tall. Three, two, one. That's it. Five. Nice and high for those five steps. Shift your weight back into your heel. Tall body. You got it. Good work, guys. Get your balance. This is a tricky one. If you need something to hold on to, like I said, use it. Otherwise, pick a spot on the wall or on the screen. Focus. And try to keep that stability. Five whole seconds balancing on each side. Very nice work. I know you're working hard at home there. Opposite leg each time. Balance. Keep going, guys. You got it. And rest. Well done. Okay. We're going right into our sideways knee to elbow taps. Off we go. Knee to elbow and back. Shift all your weight over. Right? Again, if you're having freezing trouble, getting that weight shifted into one leg is a really, really, really important skill that you need to practice. And this is a good way to combine weight shifting and balance. All the weight in one leg. Knee up. Toe touches. Okay? Learning to get all the way over safely into one leg. Five on one side, five on the other. Good. Make sure you're counting five. I get distracted talking to you guys and sometimes this count. So make sure you're counting your own five. Five on one side, five on the other. That's it, guys. Doing great. Again, one side is going to be harder. That's okay. Remember those pains of glass in front and behind? So my knee can not come forward. Bring it out and to your elbow. You should feel your glutes starting to burn, your bum muscles. Okay, that tells you you're doing it right. <laughs> Good, finish up that side. We're going to go right into our cross on cross. You can see this goes nice and quick this time. Remember, if you need to pause the screen to figure out what we're doing, no problem. It's your computer, you do what you like, okay? Ready, 
same for you. Big crosses if you can. If that's not hard, try to go even lighter. You got it, guys. Keep it up. These are harder when you go through the fast, so I know that. All right, we had a little bit more explanation last time. Now you've done them before. Keep it up. Again, remember, you can do this workout and just play the video twice, so twice through for four rounds, and that's great. If you've got the time to practice that extra, go for it. Okay? And rest. All right. We're going to go into our moving bird. Ready? Set. Go. Get forward. Come up.
going to do a quick cool down today and kneeling or seated. And then I'll let you go and we'll see you back in this week. All right? So first, first cool down exercise. We're going to sit back onto our arms. Put our feet wider than hip width. Drop your knee in. Come back up. And drop your other knee. You should feel a big stretch in the outside of your hip on the knee that's going down. And it's going to drop it back and forth. If your inside of your knee can't hit the floor, don't worry. That's fine as long as you feel stretch. Keep working hard, keep challenging yourself, and remember it's all about participation.